This is my power. My power. Hi, I'm Bryce L. Tomlinson from NewDepthMedia.com. They say a large percentage of what makes people click on your video is what they see in the thumbnail. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your own cool thumbnails for your YouTube videos. This tutorial is a really great way to get started with working with layers. So even if you're not a YouTube partner, hopefully you'll find this video to be useful in your graphic design work. But it is worth saying that at the time this video is made, only partners can change their video thumbnails. Let's get started. I'm going to start out by getting some snapshots from my video. There are a couple of easy ways to do this. Probably the easiest way is simply going to your video on YouTube, pausing the video where you want to take the snapshot, and pressing Control Print Screen. Yeah, I know. When was the last time you used that key? Now go to your favorite paint program. I use PaintShop Pro X. It's old, but it's still awesome. Press Control V to paste your snapshot in as a new image. Some paint programs will require that you open a new image first, then paste. Another way is straight from your video editor. Here I'm using Magic's Movie Edit Pro 17 Plus, but just about any video editor has a way to do this. Just move your project marker to the frame where you want to take the snapshot, and from the menu, go to File, Export Movie, Single Frame as BMP. Pay attention to where it is saving the file. Click on the little folder icon on the right side. You might want to export to the desktop so you don't forget where you put it. Name the file, then click on the Save button. You can repeat this process for as many images as you need, so you can capture a lot of elements for your thumbnail design. Here I have two images that I'm going to edit into one thumbnail. First, let's make sure all the frames are cropped to the right size and shape of a regular video. Click on the selection tool or press S. Now drag a frame around the video frame and then use Ctrl R to crop it. Or go to the menu, then image, then select crop to selection. Now that we have all our snapshots properly cropped, let's erase the backgrounds. On each picture, click the eraser tool or press X, then erase your background. You can adjust the size and hardness on the toolbar. Start out with a larger brush with the hardness turned all the way up. Then as you draw closer to your subject, use a softer brush and make it smaller as you get to the finer details. It takes a while, but the result is worth it. Once you have all your backgrounds erased, it's time to start combining the images into layers. Look at all your images and choose one that'll be the main subject of your thumbnail. This will become the photo receptacle that you'll be copying all the other images into. Now choose a second snapshot to begin the process. Click on the second snapshot and select all by pressing Ctrl A. Then use Ctrl C to copy. Now go back to your main subject and press Ctrl L to paste the image as a new layer. Now in the layers palette, you can drag this new layer up or down in the arrangement. If you have more snapshots, bring them in the same way in their own layers. You can click on the pick tool or press K, then pick up objects, resize, and rotate them. Make sure you select the right layer first. You can add more layers for airbrushing or clip art simply by right clicking on a layer and selecting new raster layer. I like to place a layer under my subject, then airbrush white or colored highlights underneath. Once I've got all my highlights done, I adjust the transparency of that layer so that it's just the right intensity for what I'm looking for. For the background, I like to add another layer underneath and then fill it with a color or a pattern. You can also do special effects and color correction to each layer independently. Now that we're done, it's time to save it. YouTube accepts files up to two megabytes. If you're concerned about clarity or resolution, try saving it as a PNG file. All my thumbnails are uploaded as 1280 by 720 PNG files, and I've never run into the two megabyte limit. This will also make your videos look awesome when you post them on Google Plus or embed them on your website. Once you've saved it, it's time to upload. Go to YouTube, click on your username, go to videos, then find the video you want to add the thumbnail to and click Edit Info. Scroll down, click on Upload Thumbnail. Now browse to your file and finish the job. 
Thumbnails sometimes take a long time, sometimes days to update in the search engine. So the sooner you get your thumbnail done, the better. The best time is just before you publish the video, but if it's later on, that's okay too. Just keep in mind that it takes a while to update. I'm Bryce L. Tomlinson from NewDepthMedia.com, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please help support my work by sharing it with someone else who will find it useful. Maybe give it a thumbs up, and if you'd like to keep seeing more of these kinds of how-to videos, click subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, 